Got a lot of extra milkweed seeds here. Lots of pods I still haven't split. Started planting a butterfly garden about a month ago. It's almost December now. If that goes good by June or July of next year, that video should be out. I feel it's better to do the whole video all at once than do parts where you have to look them up. But I have a lot of extra milkweed seeds left over from that. And I want to use them because I want to make a home for the monarch butterflies. So kind of just looking around my property, anywhere I can use those extra seeds up, I'm going to put them out. And I figure too that if I wait till next year to give you guys a video, it doesn't give you a chance to get those milkweed seeds in this year. You can still get them in, even if there's snow on the ground. If you don't have any seeds to work with right now, there's several websites that will give them to you for free. Or you can take a walk at one of your local parks where you have prairie plants growing. And I noticed all the milkweeds have split open. The pods have split. But some of the seeds are still in there. So there's still time to go out there and harvest your own. Here's one of my hedges I'm doing. Got thousands of milkweed seeds in here. Some butterfly seeds. Common mullion. Goldenrod. All the good stuff for the butterflies. And coming back through the garden, right next to the asparagus. I actually did have some milkweed growing in the asparagus. This area is all going to be milkweed, butterfly weed. Here is my common mullion transplants that I did that were just going throughout the garden. Decided to move them since they are biennials. It's going to take them two years of flower. So next year, you should get those big, nice yellow flowers on them. This is all going to be dill. Got some wild geranium seeds I already put in, right next to the little bit of chives I transplanted. That's why we're doing it now, because just like nature, you got to drop the seeds in the fall. There are two ways you can plant your milkweed seeds. You can either wrap them in a moist paper towel and put them in your fridge for several months to get that cold stratification, because milkweed needs the cold in order to germinate next year. Or you can do it the easy way, like I'm doing it. Take a handful of seeds and just spread them out over an open area. You're looking for areas with full sun, just like milkweed grows in the wild. So I've got some of my seeds here. I've detached the fluff from them. That is a pain to do. You can look up different videos on how to do it. There's really no easy way to do it. But you don't want the fluff on there because they'll just kind of blow away when you scatter them. And what's also good too is a day like today where it's rainy, the ground's nice and wet and the seeds are gonna stick and stay in place. So I'm gonna take these, and in this nice clearing I got here, I'm gonna spread some milkweed seeds out. Now all these seeds aren't gonna germinate. Some of them are laying on top of grass. They may never make it to the ground, but milkweed needs light to germinate. That's why it has so many seeds in a pod. They get carried by the wind, they go all over the place, land on the ground, and germinate. You wanna put a bunch of seeds on the ground to make sure that some of your plants make it. I'm gonna toss a few seeds over here by the Daturas. This area already grows pretty wild with various wildflowers and sticker bushes, all kinds of stuff like that. So I'm gonna throw a bunch of seeds in this area and I even added some of the common mullion seeds to this as well. That's basically it. Very easy. If you got any extra space that you're not using, even mixed in with your other flowers and stuff, sprinkle some milkweed seeds in there. You gotta help the monarchs out. They need the milkweed to survive. To go out and get that free milkweed, Put it on the ground, and hopefully next year, you'll be able to enjoy some awesome milkweed plants growing throughout your yard. And hopefully next year, I'll be bringing you a full butterfly garden tutorial, start to finish. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see that one as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching.